In this module, we'll discuss the important area of marketing. And in particular, marketing is relevant and significant and one of the most important parts of business because it brings resources into the organization in the form of revenue by understanding who and what sorts of organizations or people, consumers, uh, potential customers have will demand your product that you can then sell it to them in order to get revenue into the organization. That's the marketing focus. So let's first start talking about the nature of marketing itself. We define marketing as the group of activities that are designed to expedite transactions, that is sales transactions, by creating, distributing, pricing, and promoted goods and services, as well as ideas, that is knowledge. The goal of marketing is to create value by allowing individuals and organizations to obtain what they need and want. Other functional areas of business, operations, finance, and all the other areas of management must be coordinated with marketing decisions since marketing drives what's called the top line, that is revenue, the main source of resources into the organization, revenue, cash resources. These are all, so all of those other functions must be coordinated with these marketing decisions. Business cannot achieve their objectives unless they provide something that customers value. It is important to understand that marketing is, to understand what marketing is and what it is not. Marketing is not manipulating customers, nor is it simply selling and advertising. What marketing is represents the process, the overall process of satisfying customers, finding something, getting it to them, satisfying their needs and doing that in a way that brings resources into the company, enough resources not only to provide the service, but also to provide a profit. To understand how this works, let's start with what's called the exchange relationship. Marketing is focused on creating exchanges between customers and the organization that satisfy consumer needs, wants, and desires. This exchange relationship is defined as the act of giving up one thing, for example, money, credit, labor, or goods, in return or exchange for something else. That something else could include goods, services, or ideas. Thus, businesses create exchanges with customers and create exchanges with each other. When you think of marketing products, you may think of tangible things like cars, MP3 players, or books, for example. What most consumers want, however, is a way to get something done, get a job done, to solve a problem, to gain some enjoyment, something like that. They're really looking for some way to make their life better or easier. You may purchase a Hoover vacuum cleaner, not because you want a vacuum cleaner, but because you want an easier way to clean carpets. Therefore, the tangible product itself may not be as important as the image or the benefits associated with the product. This intangible something of value, if you will, called the value proposition, may be a capability that is gained from using a product or from the image evoked by the product, something like a brand name. Having that additional value is what people want. So they, because they perceive that their life will be better or something will be easier or they will be happier because of that. For an exchange to occur, certain conditions are required. As indicated by the arrows on this particular slide, buyers and sellers must communicate about the something of value that is available to each. That is the price for the organization that has to be communicated. That's the value that's exchanged for the product or service, which wants to be communicated to the other side. An exchange does not necessarily take place just because buyers and sellers have something of value to exchange. Each participant must be willing to give up his or her respective something or value and receive the other something of value that is, hold, that is held by the other exchange partner. Remember, exchange relationships are not restricted to manufacturing goods, but extend to all segments of business and organizations, including goods, services, or even good ideas, intellectual property, uh, storytelling, whatever. 
that's the the nature of the exchange process companies find that communicating with customers through digital media can increasingly enhance customer relationships and create value for the brands. There's probably, uh, at least from my perspective, there's no trend that's been larger in my lifetime than the move from this sort of real world, analog world into this digital virtual world for satisfying individual uh, and organizational needs. You can get an awful lot of communication value out of using technologies. You can get a lot, also get a lot of entertainment value, that sort of thing. Lots of move into the digital world. Something to always, I thought it's pretty obvious, but something obvious to keep in your mind as you think about careers.